food. Our gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the food, Lord, for the physical food, Lord, that we are feasting on, Lord. But more important, Lord, let us be, Lord, feasters of your holy word. In the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we give you praise, honor, and glory. Amen. 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 I want to thank God for being here today. I want to thank God for the pastor. Pastor Warren is sick. He buys us out for this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful blessing. Uh, we are actually, I want to say celebrating, but uh, um, I keep praising God for the meaning of blessing. This is a great thing. Let me thank God for everyone who came out today. Everyone who put us out their busy schedule to be in the midst of us today so we can enjoy ourselves and enjoy the meaning of destiny for them. We're going to start our program off today with a welcome from Brother Scott. Give him a round of applause while he comes. Brother Scott. Say good evening to everybody. Uh, I'd like to welcome y'all to Hard Hard Church. It's nice that we have a good turnout today. And uh, Pastor Smith, she's doing a wonderful job with us, and we are growing every day. And I'd like to say welcome to everybody. Amen. Amen. Glory, 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 glory. That was a welcome. You know, he said, Pastor Smith, you're doing a wonderful job. One thing I can say, she's a very consistent. She really will not stop. She will keep on going on because of God. And we thank her. Amen. 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 Uh, chapter 2, and I'm going to read verses 2 and 3. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. Yes, yes. Third voice. And keeping the charge of the Lord thy God to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and his testimony, as it is written in the law of Moses, that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest, and whithersoever thou turnest thyself. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Brother uh, James. James. Tell me. And it is it's an awesome how he uh, brought that out. God is letting us know how he wants things to go in our lives, even among the saints, the brothers, the sisters, but, but continue to, to be steadfast in the word of God in the midst of everything that you go through. Amen. Amen. I feel so good about that. Amen. Amen. And right now, uh, we got another brother coming here to give us uh, a song, Brother Harrison. Actually, Amen. I didn't realize we have a type-based minister, Harrison. Oh, Minister Harrison, come forward and give us a great, wonderful song. <laughs> How you guys doing this afternoon? I know everybody's eating, so just continue to enjoy your food. Uh, I'm going to just give you guys a uh, I'm scheduled to sing two songs. I sung one this morning. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to sing, I'd only sung part of the one this morning. So I'm going to do that one over if that's fine. That's fine for everybody over here this morning. All right, go right All right, all right, good, 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 good. Do, do you want to come up with Lindy? This is my wife, Taj, and my little girl, Arian. My daughter says she wants to sing. But the point is, when she gets up, she gets a little shy. So. That's all right. You want to see something? <laughs> Jesus loves little children. 
I used to think that I could not go home. And life was nothing but an awful soul. But now I know the meaning of true love. I'm leaning on the everlasting Lord. If I just believe it, there's nothing to it, cause I believe in the Lord, I believe in my God alone, I think about him every night and day, he took my sins away, in Christ I can soar. I see us running through heaven's door Cause I believe in the Lord Cause I believe in the Lord Cause I believe in the Lord See I was on the verge to break it down Sometimes silence can seem so loud but there are miracles in Christ I must achieve. Yes, but first I know it starts inside of me. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, if I can yes, see yes. it, yes. then I can do it. If I just believe it, there's nothing to it. Cause I believe in the Lord Cause I believe in my God above I pray to Him every night and day He took my sins away Cause in Christ I can soar I see Him running through heaven's door Cause I believe in the Lord Cause I believe in the Lord Cause I believe in my God. Because he created all things and made all things seem unseen. 
That's so right. he loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. Yes, he did. Yeah. I've been a father for a long time. Mm -hmm. I never thought about giving my son up. <laughs> <laughs> but the love that I have for my son and my daughter, that love can't never compare to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At the time I was married, I had the love for my wife also, but the love that I had for my kids was separated from the love that I had for my daughter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll take a bullet for my son. I'll take a bullet yeah. for my daughter. Yeah. Who would stand up and, and allow, I don't care how much ministry you is or how much uh, sanctification you got, yeah. who would stand there and allow another man, another woman to kill their child? Right. I don't think nobody no. <laughs> no. I, I don't think that's not what. You know why? Because the love that you have for your child. Right. That's right. That love that you have for your child, I mean, anything, whatever the price, I haven't seen people pay out millions of dollars. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just to get yeah. children away. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just to get yeah. child yeah. Where the blood of Jesus was worth more than a million dollars. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So oh, get, yeah. To get us back to God. Yeah. So, yeah. I ain't gonna know the time. I get happy about that, but uh, <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> the, the love of the Father will be with us forever. Yes, it will. Yeah. Will we be with the Father forever when I love? If we would, I promise you, and I guarantee you, that you'll go a long way in your children and your family. God bless y'all, and thank y'all for coming out. Wonderful word by our minister, go, go, as a father. And while I was listening to him, my mind went back to a lot of things. Now I know when you have children, you're going to have some love for them. what people say, your love is going to be strong for your children. That's right. I had a word from Megan Jordan about my daughter was sick uh, a while back. And when, when that happened, I couldn't hardly speak at night because I'm just thinking about my All daughter. Right. Mm -hmm. I you know, I would rather for it to be me, something wrong with me, than for it to be something wrong with my child. Amen. Right. Amen. So I got a lot out of that from uh, Mr. Coach about love and the love of God. The love of God. The love of God. You know God said, my people, if my people who are called by my name shall honor themselves and pray, mm -hmm. then will I hear them. Alright. Yes. Yes. Let's give him another round of applause. Yes. And we have another song from our great singer, uh, Minister Hanson. Right, right. Bless God, bless God. This song here is actually is called. Uh, it's basically talking uh, talking about what he just talked about about fathers. Um, it's talking about the love that God has for us that He put His own Son in harm's way just for us. All right. Undying love, you're giving to me. Saying the things I thought I never would see. I don't understand why he cares so much. It's all a mystery. And time and time again I ask myself, what have I done to deserve such well? The price he paid. I can never repay his generosity and wanting to save me in order to save the day. Yes, what kind of love replaces self in hard way? It's truly beyond me. I'm left without a word to say. Because of love, he places himself in hard way. What kind of love would place himself in hard way? See, yeah. when I was down, he came and lifted me. Yeah, yeah. And when I was bound, he came and set me free. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. thing that he do, it make it clear to see that it's all his master plan. And no other love that I come to know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I refuse, he still loved me so. With open arms, he came and rescued me. And he all the pain. Yes, all of the pain. And wanted to save me in 
order to save the day. Yeah. What kind of love was necessary in hard way? Because of love he placed his help in hard way. Hey, hey, hey. Great, great Praise God for what he gave me with. Amen. 
Amen. And I truly thank everyone for coming out and being willing. There's some that had uh, responded that they was coming, but I guess something held them up, but that's okay. We're going to have a good time in the name of the Lord. Amen. We're going to go on. Jesus said, "What two or three in the midst, so shall he be in That's right. And so, right. two or three are gathered in his name. And so, I thank God. It just, when I think of men of destiny, when I think about it, I haven't done a program just to honor men. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And sometimes, my African-American men, they're not honored. Mm -hmm. They are not honored at all. That's right. Right. And so, the thing is the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Ordered by the Lord. And he delights in his ways. They said the steps of a good man is ordered by the Lord. Mm -hmm. But in order for us to have, be that good man, we don't have to ask Jesus to bind our minds to the will of God. Right. And help us, Lord, not to be conformed to the world. Right. And not to keep our mind on things below, but above in heaven. Mm -hmm. When you just keep your mind there, you can become a good man. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. We think about the men of destiny, the divine power mm -hmm. of Jesus Christ. Yes. Through his father. Amen. That you all was created in the image of God. Yes. And you are from the lineage of Jesus. Yes. You was created <laughs> by the creator of creation. Right. When he created us men, black men, African American men, God's son, his children. Amen. When he created you, he had you in mind. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people want to believe that we was made second class citizens. Okay. We right. just need to know me and y'all were from the head and I can tell you. Right. Yes, right. it's heartbreaking to see so many African American men, mm -hmm. they just slaughter one another for no reason. That's right. Mm -hmm. Sometimes right. mine, oh, I just killed my own cousin. Mm -hmm. I just killed my own brother. Yes. Either yes. way, brother, he's your blood brother, he's your spiritual brother. Yes, yes, And yes. so that can be heartbreaking. Yes, yes. But just for the men of destiny, the men with a purpose, the men with a purpose, we need to remember you all that we all are from a royal priesthood. That's right. Created yes. for yes. greatness yes. in yes. Christ Jesus. Yes. Remember you was created by the great I am. Yes. Your destiny lies in your heavenly father, not in your earthly father. Right. I know so many men, they, they use this excuse for not excelling. I came from a broken home. My father was not there. Uh -huh. You all, a broken home is only home without Jesus. As right. long as he's there, you're not from a broken home. All right. All right. Okay? All right. So we need to quit using that. That's a broken right. home. Mm -hmm. Because even though being I was a single mom, my home wasn't broken. <laughs> Jesus was right there. Yeah. He was multiplying my money. Yeah. He was there protecting my household. He was giving me health and strength. Mm -hmm. He was helping me to teach my children obedience. All you got to do is just keep your eyes on Jesus. Yes, yes. Quit saying I came from a broken home. Then you got mama there, sometimes just dead and they're praying, yeah. providing for you, watching over you, doing everything the Lord has commanded. So that's something the devil had taught us. We come from a broken home, and they use that for an excuse to do wrong against right. their heavenly father. Right. But you got to remember, whether it was a physical father in a home, your heavenly father is your guide. Yes. No other father who set forth the way in the path. Quit focus on your earthly father. <clears throat> because I know a man, if he would focus on his earthly father, he wouldn't provide for his children. He right. wouldn't even be in church. Right. He would not do any of those things. But because of his heavenly father and the words of God that lives in him, yes. he is one of the best fathers, one of the best husbands you can know. Yeah, he could use that excuse, but he don't use it. He is quite successful and quite humble. And I'm very proud to call him my brother. And that's Deacon Kenneth Sankey. Because see, our father didn't take care of us, but we had our heavenly father. And our grandfather, he worked hard and provided for us. And so being some men are using these excuses, we look not to become a man. I came from a broken home. As long as Jesus in that home is not broken. So quick repeat what Satan has given you all. And use it for an excuse. Think about that. So open the book of Ezekiel 18 and 19, 20. It says, The son shall not suffer for the iniquities of the father, nor the father suffer for the iniquities of the son. As you hear your destiny in Christ Jesus. Quit using the excuse, my daddy was a drunk, so was my ours. But we're not drunks. 
right. Okay? Right. You have the thing he said. What to go back to the Ezekiel 18, 19, and 20. The son shall not suffer for the iniquities of the father. You're not right. responsible for your earthly father's sins. Praise right. God. Right. 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 We got to remember to be a man of destiny. You have to remember who has that plan for you. Yeah. Over in yeah. the book of Jeremiah 29 and 11. See, God tells us, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and yes. not harm you. Yes. See, that's your heavenly father plan for you. Yes. And yes. when I think about men of greatness in Christ Jesus, just because your earthly father do not have a vision, that don't mean that you don't have a vision. Right. I'm going to tell y'all about this man. His name, I call him Deacon Nelson. Okay. Deacon Nelson, he said he grew up extremely poor. And, but he had a vision. Uh -huh. God had anointed him from a child. Yeah, 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 just yeah, like he's yeah, anointed yeah, us. Yeah. And so he said at 10 years old, you all, he used to be a dog houses. And the kids would come and they would tear his dog houses up. Mm. But Robert had a vision. Yeah. His vision was to buy some land, be a home. Yeah. There was a teenage boy, he said he bought his first property. His daddy was telling him, you need to go work in the fields. You need to go and do this. He had to follow his vision. Yes, his dad's yes, vision yes. was not of greatness, but his son was. I will tell you all now that Deacon Nelson went from building doghouse to mansions. That man went to building subdivisions. Yes, he got a yes. subdivision that he first to build up and we talked about Alabama. Yes, Quit yes. using the excuse, I grew up poor. Right, You're not right. poor yes. when you got Christ in your life. Right. That man became a multimillionaire. Yes. Not only that, he taught the trade to his son. Yes, yes. Okay? Yes. So when you think about your heavenly father, you gotta have your own vision. Yes. Because yes. sometimes our earthly father may not have the vision. Right, right. But our heavenly father has a vision for you. Yes. That's the vision that you want. Yes. We have to think about. We think put too much time and effort on what our earthly father didn't do. Right. Think about everything our heavenly father did for us. Yes. yes. Men, you got to know that you're from a royal priesthood. Yes. Over in First Peter 2 and 9 says, but you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, yes, a yes, holy nation, yes, a people yes, for God, yes, his yes, own possession, yes, to proclaim the virtues of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yes, yes. We have to think about God and his plan for us. Amen. See, we some of them use excuses, but God gives us talent. Yes, and yes, just some of us, we refuse to utilize our talents. Right. We got to remember in Matthew 25 and 15, it says to one, he gave five talents, to another two, to another one. But the one who received one, he wouldn't even go plant a seed. Right. He wouldn't bury him. Yeah. And that's yeah. what we use yeah. our talents right. to give. It's just like a light. We're taking head upon the bushel. Right. But we want to prosper. We want to prosper. How can you prosper in Christ Jesus? How can we prosper in Christ Jesus? Yes, in the name yes. of Jesus. I need y'all to turn your cell phones on, so cut that off. Uh, because he can't edit out of the sounds of the cell phone. Amen. He can't edit that out because it'll go throughout the program. Right. But he can edit that portion there. Okay. <laughs> All right. Just remember, God gives us talents. Yeah. And we got to remember that the only one of those men that didn't double their talent was the one who took his and buried it. Yes. Don't take your one talent and bury it. Right. Just because I don't have many talents or the talent that I want, that don't mean I should utilize the one that God gave me. Right. Because that one is mighty and strong in Christ Jesus. Yes. But see, I know sometimes men, y'all go through some things just like we women do. Some of y'all men have been some Joseph. You've been yes. falsely accused of things. Yes, we yes. think about Joseph, how he was an innocent man, but yet he was accused of rape and thrown in prison. Yes, we yes. Have, I know that there have been some Joseph here, Amen. but that still don't stop Joseph from reaching his destiny. Right, 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 See, right. some have been some damaged. Yes. The anointing of the Lord wasn't on you. Yes. But because of that anointing, people attempted to take his life. They still they steal his destiny. Yeah. All because of jealousy and envy. Yeah. The envy yeah. spirit. 
but they still couldn't stop Daniel's destiny. Amen. Because his faith was in Christ Jesus, yes. not in man. Amen. Through trials and tribulation, you also can persevere Amen. by not giving up. Yes. See, I understand there may be along some, some, some people who come to trip you up. Yes. There may have been some Jezebels along the way. Yes. But don't get tripped up by the lion. All right. All right. And don't be watching that Sheba. Yeah, yeah. Okay? It will cause you to miss yeah. your destiny. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? It will cause you to miss your own destiny. Yeah. Yeah. We have to think about some people feel they ain't worthy of the best just because they've done something wrong. Yeah. Yeah. That's what they just believe. But in Isaiah 1 and 18, the scripture says, Come now and let us reason together, said yeah. the Lord. Yeah. They reason together. Though your sins may be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. No, they may be red like crimson, they yes. shall be as wool. Yes. So don't allow your past to stop you from reaching your destiny. Yes. Yes. Yesterday is gone, it's what you do with today. Right. Praise God. Because right. we serve a forgiving God. Yes. We have to remember Jesus died on the cross on mission of our sins that they were yes. forgiven. Yes. Don't let what you feel is unworthy because of yesterday. Yes, yes. Repent yes. and go to Jesus mm -hmm. and reach your destiny. Yes, Lord. Sometimes a lot of men, I would say, they give up their birthright. Uh -huh. Don't give up your birthright like Esau. Yes. Just for a bowl of soup. <laughs> See? Say I'm not giving up my right. birthright. Right. Let everybody know, Satan, I'm not giving up my anointing for a bowl of soup. Right. I'm not going to give up my blessing for a bowl of soup. Yeah. I'm not giving up my inheritance. I'm holding on steadfast yeah. for my crown, my reward. Yeah. My yeah. destiny is in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Praise God, glory, hallelujah. Yeah. When we just think about it, what are we giving up our birthright for? Our inheritance, your crown, your reward in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Don't give it up. Right. Just delight yourself in the Lord. And right. he will bring your dreams and vision to pass. Yes, but you must have a vision. Got the scripture says without a vision, according to that, yes, you will perish. Yes. See, right. Satan has stolen many of our visions. Uh -huh. yes. Some vision never materialized because of failure to plan, failure yes. to take action, yes. failure <laughs> to even try. Yes. Some vision never materialized because you lack some patience. Yes. Because it didn't materialize as fast as you wanted to. Yeah. I think that that is called that microwave mentality. So you gave up on your destiny. So don't have that microwave mentality. Yeah. Have some patience and yeah. watch your destiny come to pass. Yeah. Remember over in Proverbs 20 and 24, it says a man steps off from the Lord. Yeah. How then can a man understand his way? How can you? By studying the word of God, praying to God, Yes. Hearing the word of God, seeking yes. him daily, yes. and the light to yes. know his ways. Yes. How can you reach your destiny? Uh -huh. How can you reach it if you don't know the way? Right. We got to remember that Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. Yes. But no man come to the Father except through him. Yes. Your destiny is through Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes. Over in the book of Judges 18 and 5, a lot of us, we don't even seek God. Uh -huh. It tells about asking God. Then they say the require of God, so we would know which way journey we are on, whether we were prosper or not. Yes. Some people's on the wrong path and yes. they wonder yes. why yes. they are not prosper. Yes. We have to think about just as Daniel in 1 Samuel 23 and 2. He inquired of the Lord in which way to go. When you inquire of the Lord, you will be led in the right direction. Yes. Yes. Too many of us is not yes. reaching our destiny because we are circling Mount Sinai, going around the mountain and no, not no. going anywhere. No, no, no. Remember, you all, we got to, me and you all got to reach for your destiny to excel, yes. to prosper yes. in Christ. Yes. You must become a man of God. Yes. But you also got to flee these things and pursue righteousness, oh, yeah. godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, yes. and gentleness. Yes. Men, fight that good fight of faith. Take hold to eternal life, yes. to which you were called. Yes. Over in Psalms 24, it says, Though he fall, he shall not be utterly cast down. Yes. For the Lord upholded him 
with his hand. Yeah. So whatever you do, whatever work, work at it with all your heart oh. is working for the Lord. Yeah. When you think about Luke 18 and 27, it says the things which are impossible with man are possible with God. Yeah. Yeah. See, it means you may have had some setbacks. You may have had some failures. But remember, the song that says that we fall down, but we get up. Yeah, For yeah. a saint is just a sinner who fell down yeah. and got back up. Yeah, right. But remember this scripture. It says a righteous man falls seven times and rise again. Right. It's about how many times you fell. It's about the times that you get back up. Yeah, yeah, a righteous yeah. man falls seven times and rise again. Yeah, so don't worry about falling. Yes. Jesus will lift you up and place you upon the mountaintop for all to see his glorious works in you. Yes, yes, Remember yes. that a righteous man falls how many times? Seven times. And he rises again. Yes. Only in the book of Deuteronomy 28, 12, and 14, said the Lord will open the heavens, his abundant storehouse, to send rain to you yes. into your land and in season, and to bless all the works of your hands. Uh-huh. That you will lend to many nations, yeah. but borrow from none. Praise God. Right. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. Right. So you will move upward and never downward. Right. If you hear and carefully follow the commandments of the Lord, your God, yeah. which I'm giving you today. Right. It says, do not turn aside to the right or to the left. Yes. Or for any other words I command you today. Yeah. And do not go after other gods to serve them. Yeah. You can't reach your destiny going in, in the wrong direction. Right. You won't never reach your destiny serving of a God because yeah. your destiny is in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Remember, not to the left nor to the right, but straight. Yeah. See, yeah. God will cause you to move upward and never downward. Right. Yeah. Ignore those slogans that the higher you climb, the harder you fall. What did God just say? He will yeah. cause you to move upward and never downward. Praise yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. So men, take those on the word of God. Let's yeah. quit putting on Satan's slogans and be afraid to reach your destiny. Because yeah. if yeah. it is still in you that you may fall. Yeah. But if you yeah. fall, yeah. if you told you Jesus is going to lift you back up. Yeah. He's going to pull you from down in that valley and place you up on the mountain top for all to see his glory works in you. Yeah. All right? So men, just as God filled the sons of Uriah and the sons of her from the tribe of Judah, you are also filled with the Spirit of God, yeah, with the yeah. skills, with intelligence, yeah. with knowledge, and with all craftsmanship. Yeah. See, God has given you the gift of talent to succeed, to yeah. prosper, yeah. to excel. <laughs> Some of us are afraid to reach out. We're afraid to be successful. Yeah. Only the book of Ecclesiastes 5 and 19 tells us that God that gives you the ability to have wealth and possession, and yeah. he also gives yeah. us the ability to enjoy it. Praise God this afternoon. Quit taking on the slogan and keep them from reaching your destiny. You're afraid to prosper in Christ Jesus yeah. because you're worried about failing. Uh -huh. You're worried about calling a sinner. Right. What did he say? God is the one who gives us the ability God. to have yeah. wealth and the position yeah. Yeah. and the ability to enjoy it. Joy. Right. Satan keep telling just like you got it, you can lose it. That is from yeah. Satan, not from God. Not from because God. he said he gives the ability to enjoy it. Praise God this afternoon. But then I will close with this. Um, say I'm walking in my destiny by the divine power of the Holy Ghost. I'm walking in my destiny because of the everlasting love of Jesus Christ. I'm walking in my destiny because I've been saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost. I have been washed clean by the blood of Jesus Christ. He has washed me. He has made me whole. I used to be like Scarlet, but now I'm white as you are in Christ Jesus this morning. I'm going to walk in my destiny through my trials and my tribulations. I'm going to keep on pressing beard in Christ Jesus this morning. I'm going to keep on. You have to remember me that your destiny lies in Jesus. Yeah. You've got to remember you were created by the great I am. Yeah. All you got to do is 1 Corinthians 16, 13, and 14 say it just watch. Uh -huh. You stand fast in the faith. Yeah. Be strong. Be strong. Stand firm. And be men of yeah. courage. Yeah. 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 Deuteronomy 31 and 6 also say be strong and of good courage. Say, do not fear nor be afraid of them. Yes. For the Lord your God, he is the one who goes with you. He yes. will not leave you nor forsake you. So men, reach out, step out, launch out in the deep for your destiny. Yes. It's in Christ Jesus. Some of you can get off of them jumping in. Some of you can get off in the back. And just like he told Peter to launch out in the 
didn't he? Yeah. Don't worry about Balaam. What did he say? Yeah. He will lift you up. Yeah. He said a righteous man falls seven times. Yeah. Remember, you are men of destiny. Yeah. Y'all come from a royal piece of hood. Yeah. We are not from the head. We are from the head. Yeah. Of the heavenly Father in Christ Jesus. Yeah. We praise God this afternoon. The men of destiny. Remember, a good man's steps are ordered by the Lord. Yeah. Praise yeah. God. Thank you. Because my joy is in Christ. 
My joy is just being given an opportunity, yes, y'all, to yes, labor yes, in here. Yes. It ain't about how yes, much sir. money that I received as a pastor. It's about the reward I received. My salary is actually zero. <laughs> that is my salary. But Jesus take care of me, you all. Y'all would be just shocked to find out, y'all, when I opened the doors of the church, my income had early that you had been brought so low. It was like a shock compared to maybe the year or five years before. But Jesus still opened the way and he blessed me. The opening doors. That song said he opened doors that no man can shut. Amen. He looked beyond my fault. Me and y'all need to go that God has looked and look way past your fault. That's why he let his son die, Jesus die on the care for the mission of our sins. And I said, oh, it works that way. So I'm not sure. They were dead. And so I picked them up. So the smaller size, y'all can get them to the window. <laughs> I went out to all the men to get in. I want to make sure that everyone had a gift. And I had a little token of gift for our MC because he has a mustache and he just likes to, I know, got to keep it up. So <laughs> I tore the box. I tore the box so but. <laughs> and I didn't want to put it back in the box. I had told it. And we thank uh, Minister Elder for coming out. Would there be any remarks from anyone? Well, if not, I'm going to sing my song again. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay, your hair is waiting on that song. That God has smiled on me and He has set me free. He has set you all free. Free. So watch out, reach for your destiny. Take away that poison of faith by how you find the heart of you from. Just like you got it, you can lose it. That ain't nothing but safe. <laughs> but we as a people, y'all, we hold on to that stuff. That is to put a fear in you that you won't reach out for your destiny. But me, I have a vision. Vision to serve the Lord. Vision knowing that I came from the great I am, you all. Yeah. Some people say, well, a woman uh, preaching a men's program. I hate to tell y'all, okay, nobody's reading the book of Galatians. We're not a male, no female, no Greek, no slave, no free. We just one body, one spirit in Christ. Yeah. See, because, see, I know Jesus opened up these doors. <laughs> but sometimes, y'all, after I had paid for rent and everything else, y'all, I had a whole thing I was with. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I'll be in there. Whoop! I got a little extra money. Let me give out some food. <laughs> we do everything. I have to laugh at myself sometimes. Some people could say, you know, you can go to the store, you can buy yourself. But I want y'all to think about men who have accomplished much. And I think about Tika Nelson. He said they grew up that didn't even have one water in the lights in the house. But look how his anointing y'all, y'all blessings, it, when you all was born, it was in your DNA. All right. Don't have somebody else's vision, have your own. That's the right. one that God have for you. Right. The one that he planned he had for you. Ooh. And I know Deacon Nelson, God rest his soul, he went home to be with the Lord. Can you imagine somebody growing up? Some people say, I grew up poor. That's the reason why I'm not succeeding. It has nothing to do with it. Right. Think about him. He said, no running water, no life. He said that they were so poor when girls found out they weren't even dating. But when he grew up into a man, and he built an all these fine homes, and building uh, hotels, and framing and all that stuff, man, them same ones were coming for him, but God had blessed him with a jewel of his eye. <laughs> the same one, you all. So let's quit using the devil excuses. The devil excuses. Some say you open up the uh, church, you open the church, there ain't nobody but you. I just said Jesus with me. <laughs> Jesus with me. There is no fear in the Lord. I thank you all for coming out. Let us stand. Because every man have a pair of memory foam shoes. Mr. Ben. <laughs> Miss McGee. <laughs> Praise God. So every man have a pair of memory foam shoes. Okay. I think. Uh, also, we still have to thank you all for the cameraman. <laughs> oh, I forgot you. Uh, I was going to ask, Mr. B, there's a lot of exercise ball or something like that. You may uh, want one of them. Y'all, Brother Benny, God is with him, you all. 
he severely injured himself. And, you know, just praise God, I was surprised. And, but he was surprised that I wasn't here. That God kept him. He fell and he hit the part of the tub and they had to do emergency surgery down his neck. And God, and it caused him to break his neck. But praise be to God. Amen. Praise Amen. be to God. I'm not, uh, think, about this. think about this song. He looked beyond my faults. He looked beyond our faults. We just got to know that. That's why Jesus Christ died on care for the mission of our sins. Don't let what you used to do, your past, stop you from reaching your destiny. Don't be afraid of succeeding. Lunch out in the deep. Lunch out. See, Peter was just a fish around the edge that he wasn't even out for enough. So don't be afraid to lunch out and reach out for your destiny. Let us uh, close out with prayer. I will pray to you, Heavenly Father, Lord, and give you praise and glory this afternoon, Lord. Lord, we ask everyone, Lord, that we, the men, be good men, Lord, that they be good men, Lord, that they know that their steps are ordered by you, Lord. Lord, they want to stay strong and steadfast this afternoon in your word, Lord. Oh, Lord Jesus, they want to prosper, Lord, in their soul first, Lord, and everything else will be added, Lord. We ask you, Lord, to place the hedge of protection around them, Lord, as they leave this physical place, Lord. Lord, we pray, God, that they keep your word, Lord, in their heart, in their spirit, Lord. Help them, Lord, to continue to put on the armor of God, Lord, so they be able, Lord, to withstand the wiles of the devil, Lord. Help them, Lord, to keep the faith in God, the faith in you, Lord. In the precious name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. amen. Glory, glory. Hallelujah. And it came out this afternoon. And y'all, hope that y'all have a glorious time in the name of the Lord. But my babies want to sing. Come on. Let's come on. Let's see. We're going to sing our song. And then you can be singing. Y'all ain't going to let me sing. And y'all can't come on. Say y'all wanted to sing. So y'all come on. Come on. Come on with me. We got a song, you all, that we close out every Sunday with. Jarrell is getting a little shy, but that's okay. What's the song you want to sing? Come on.